Welcome back to Get It Off The Glass. When it comes to trade assets that the Lakers have, D'Angelo Russell is at the top of that list, primarily based upon his current salary, which is $18.6 million a year. Rui Hachimura also makes $17 million. He could also be considered a trade asset. If you combine them two together in a trade, they could possibly trade for um, a big piece, all-star caliber player. That would also affect the debt. And because Rui is one of the Lakers' top defensive players, I think he's going to stay with the team for sure. Not for sure, unless if they get something, something could pop up where they can include him. I'm not saying he's guaranteed safe, but most likely, unless something big pops up, I think he's going to stay. And the trade piece to look at would then be D'Angelo Russell, who, like I said, makes $18.6 million this season. But the thing is, the Lakers would have to find a team who would actually want to take upon D'Angelo Russell and his contract. So there's not too many teams that would want to trade away a key asset because most time, most of this time of year, the teams are competing for the playoffs. So there's one specific team to look at and bringing back a former piece the last time the Lakers won a championship, and that is Kyle, Kamu Kyle Kuzma. The trade I have on the screen is D'Angelo Russell and Jared Vanderbilt going to the Wizards along with a 2025 second-round draft pick and a 2026 first-round draft pick bringing Kyle Kuzma back to the Lakers, giving them a lot more size and um, probably help, not saying he's a really superstar on the defensive end, but at the same time, he's bigger and he will also help them rebounding-wise, size-wise, uh, giving them another wing because kind of short on wings right now other than LeBron. LeBron is playing a lot of minutes. Kyle Kuzma could come in and kind of take some of the load off of LeBron and AD. Also, being another scorer, possibly a more consistent scorer than Russell. So, and as far as the Wizards, it possibly makes sense for them because they're not going anywhere and they... Missed out on the draft so far this year. It doesn't look like Alexander Starr is going to be too much. Maybe getting the first round, getting the first pick in the last draft was like getting a mid-round pick in most drafts. So Alexander Starr might develop into being a solid role player, but I don't think he's going to be any kind of superstar talent. So at the same time, the Wizards might want to tank this season to be in the Cooper flag sweepstakes, getting a couple picks of the second round and a future first round in 2026 would make sense for them. So let me know what you think about this potential trade in the comment section.